He is entering his 17th season with that organization. He previously had served as the assistant GM. He joined the organization as an intern in 2006. It's an amazing story. Portland coming off a 27-55 and 55 season last year, but they won the Las Vegas Summer League title yesterday. Joe Cronin is my guest. Joe, it's nice to have you on. How are you? Jim, I'm great. Thanks for having me. It's good to visit with you, Joe. Thank you. So I mentioned the organization did win the Summer League title in Vegas. I know that, of course, is not the ultimate goal, but from a developmental standpoint, what does that mean for the young players and the organization going forward? Yeah, it's a great step, you know, for these for these young guys to get five quality, like, high-level competition games under their belt, you know, and we're trying to reshape our identity to where we're getting more defensive-minded and just tougher and, you know, more of a team-first approach, and, you know, these guys embodied that, and I thought they really guarded and really competed, and it was just a great developmental experience for them. Joe Cronin joining us. You've got identity. You've got culture. We can talk more about that. I do want to ask you, you won that title despite the fact that Shaden Sharp, the seventh pick overall in last month's draft, missed the majority of the games. He's got a shoulder injury. What's his recovery process look like going forward? And then overall, what was it about him and his game that made you want to take him at number seven? Yeah, he, uh, six minutes into summer league, he, uh, had a small tear in the back of his shoulder, so um, we sat him out for the rest of summer league. So the outlook's looking pretty good. We're um, we're hoping he doesn't need surgery and we can just rehab it and strengthen it that way. So we're hoping he won't be out too much longer. But um, it's a player we're we're really intrigued by. That you know, obviously we really liked him. We took him seventh overall, and just a really unique mix of you know, at his age, you know, he just turned 19 of athleticism, talent, skill, demeanor, um, his frame, his feel for the game are just really high end. So we're excited about his future. We are talking to Joe Cronin. Joe, something else that came out of that time in Vegas, the official announcement that Damian Lillard gets a two-year extension. What does that extension mean for the organization? It was uh, an extremely happy day for us. You know, adding some more years on the Damian's contract, taking us, you know, another step closer to, him retiring as a trailblazer was, you know, a really cool moment for the organization, for myself, for him, for Coach Phillips. It was just a, a great day just knowing Damian is going to be here that much longer. You know, I'm curious. He, he's been very clear for a number of years that he wants to win that championship badly, but he also wants to do it in Portland. Obviously, this is the goal as well, yours. Coming off last season, like, what is your mindset coming into this year? Are you taking it a step at a time, or do you feel like this group can maybe skip a few steps? Well, our goal, you know, we really reshaped the roster last season, and the goal was to do a, you know, we called it a high-velocity pivot, where we didn't want to take a major step back. We were hoping... <laughs> to stay competitive and be competitive as quickly as possible. So, you know, we, we feel like we're still building and, you know, we still have some more work to be done, but we also feel like at the same time we're ready to be um, very competitive. I actually love that line, a high-velocity pivot. <laughs> I like that a lot. Joe Cronin joining us. You talked about the roster changes. A few weeks back you made a deal for Jeremy Grant from the Pistons. When you look at how he can impact a game on both ends, what does that arrival mean? And then how do you see Grant and Lillard on the floor together and how those pieces fit? Mm -hmm. And you said it, his ability to impact the game on both ends, you know, having a legitimate high-end two-way forward that, you know, can create his own shot, can make open shots, can, you know, obviously score the ball, but also what he brings to the defensive side of the ball where, you know, his length and his athleticism and his brain, he's just so disruptive and engaged. I think he's going to be a, you know, a great compliment to Damian who, you know, over the years has faced a lot of, you know, focus from the defenses and Jeremy helps break that focus. Also, Joe, you brought in Gary Payton the second in free agency. I've got so much respect for how hard this guy's fought and battled for everything he has in his career. But what sticks out to you the most about him and his game? Yeah, Gary embodies that mentality we're hoping to build here. You know, the the ultimate defensive disruptor, the team guy who can, you know, doesn't need the ball, doesn't care about the accolades, just wants to compete and win. So, 
you know, he's going to bring a lot of intensity and a lot of intangibles to our group. Yeah, Joe, I talked to you about the guys you brought in, but I want to ask about the guys that moved along or you moved along. You were named interim GM during the season last year. You took over a situation that was not easy, to be sure. You end up moving C.J. McCollum and Larry Nance Jr., as well as Norman Powell and Robert Covington. What was the process like for you, and then how did you approach those moves? Well, um, it was intense. It was, you know, it happened, like you said, it happened right away, but you know, quickly into my um, tenure here, it just it was pretty evident that we had plateaued. So, you know, we knew that we wanted to make some changes, but we were hoping that this wouldn't be a prolonged rebuild. So, you know, my approach was just get active and get aggressive and, you know, try to, you know, fairly significantly shake things up and create, you know, just a bunch of salary cap flexibility by getting off of some contracts and just giving us more options and opportunities going into the spring and summer, which, you know, resulted in some of the guys we talked about, Shaden Sharp, Jeremy Grant, Gary Payton, those kind of guys. Joe Cronin joining us for a few more moments. I mentioned that you started way back in 06 as an intern. You're now 17 years in. You are the GM of the organization. And when you took over, you said, quote, I was built for this. End of quote. I really like that confidence. In your mind, what does it take to be a GM? And in what way are you built for this? Mm -hmm. Well, it was something It was even, even, even as a kid, it was something I always wanted to do. Like when people would ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? My answer was always, I want to be the general manager of an NBA team. So I think when I say built for it, I just had, had always studied it where I just, I loved the game. But even when I was young, even before the NBA, you know, paid attention to how trades worked and how the salary cap worked and always was a big fan of the draft. So once I got to the NBA, I had I had the opportunity to learn under a bunch of you know high end people who taught me a bunch of different things. And you know as you grow as you know kind of like any person in any industry, as you grow and learn and you know develop new skills and take on new challenges, you start building your you know your book of what you are as an executive and. That's basically what I've tried to do. All right, so before I let you go, you mentioned Chauncey Billups. For those who do not know, you played your high school ball at Horizon High School in Colorado. And, in fact, for those who may not know, Horizon played against Chauncey and George Washington High in an epic game back in March of 1994. What do you remember about that game? I remember how good he was. You know, you just growing up in Colorado, you always heard his name, but then you play against him and you were just, you know, he was obviously super impressive, and you knew he'd be a really good pro. But the, probably the thing that stands out most is he bounced the ball off of my back on an out-of-bounds play and then dunked it. And there's a video online. We were watching it when I first got hired here, and we were just cracking up. So that part probably stands out, but it's a little embarrassing for me, but it's still, we have a lot of fun with That's it. the best. So finally, That's he said that for years, any time that he was in Portland, he was asking for you and trying to figure out if you were the Joe Cronin that he played against back in the day. So what's it been like overall working with him so far? Well, it's been incredible. Just, you know, rejoining each other or being in each other's lives again, you know, all these years later has been a really cool experience. And He's just such a, a fun person to work with. Like, we care about the same things, about winning and building a culture and, you know, being great people and great leaders for this group. That it's been such a, just a fun and cool experience being together. Last thought, I'll follow up on that. You talked about culture a couple of times. How would you describe the culture that you want to see and you want to build within that organization? And then how do you go about doing that? Sure. Um, one step at a time. So we're trying to build a, you know, an inclusive environment where we are all, you know, we care about each other and we care about each other's futures and we're trying to help each other grow in this league. And with that, you know, we're trying to make our mark on this team where they're, you know, playing the brand of basketball that we think is conducive to winning, you know, being competitive, being great teammates, guarding, sharing the ball. So one step at a time, we're just, you know, trying to put our imprints on this organization. Blazers just won the Las Vegas Summer League title yesterday. Their general manager is entering his 17th season with the organization overall. It is Joe Cronin. Joe, appreciate the visit. Thank you very much. I know we'll do it again soon. Thanks a bunch for having me, Jim. Good talking to you, Joe. Thank you very much. Well done.